2009 the legal highs came and the injecting and the use patterns changed totally because the heroin user went for the legal highs when experienced heroin user would shoot up to four, five, six times a day. When they went for legal highs, they would shoot 10, 15, 20 times a day. Right now, out of seven or eight client testers, four, or five, or even six are HIV positive to the rapid tests. From a maximum of two million syringes in 2009, in 2010, we dropped to less than one million. Something happened and there was uh, not at all uh, enough injecting materials uh, on the market. Is there any change in the financial situation after the HIV epidemic? No, no, we don't have any funding from the center. By uh, the end of June, uh, some harm reduction programs might, might stop. About two or three hundred people uh, in substitution tri and treatment will be left out. A lot of uh, in injectors will, will no longer have access to clean syringes and this would be just factors for increasing the epidemic. We ask the international community to help us. We just know what the solutions are, but we're not able to take the right measures to save people's lives. This is not only a national problem, this is a European problem too.